Are y'all ready for this? Welcome guys. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today we have a brand new trip to the thrift. Oh, you fat man. So what is up guys today we are delving in the thrift trenches once again trying to find bangers to sell keep rock and everything in between and before we get into the first thrift of the day I do have a couple of quick announcements and thank yous to give out number one thank you to everyone who does watch and support your boy I appreciate it the love has been crazy the comments are always amazing and also everyone who's been on the what not lives Thank y'all, man. It has been so much fun. It's like an hour and a half where I can chop it up. It's basically like a live podcast I do every Tuesday. So if you guys don't have a WhatNot account, click that link in the video description. And if you guys get on there and want to buy anything, you will get 15 bucks off your first purchase. With that being said, I also am going to be popped up in Dallas, Texas this upcoming weekend, the weekend of December 3rd. The event is actually on December 3rd at the Irving Convention Center. It is called Dated, Faded, Worn, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. There's going to be me and a hundred plus other vintage vendors slinging gear there's going to be food music it's just a great place to bring the family if you guys live in dallas or the surrounding area hopefully i will see you guys there and also thank you to everyone who does support me on the website which is thrifttypeofvintage.com i still am selling a bunch of gear on my website the link to that is also in the description i just have to announce these things because people do ask me a lot of questions so there are some answers if you guys need any info the description down below this video has everything and more than you could possibly need now with that being said it is time to hit these trenches it is bright and early we're going to the goodwill outlet the bins we're going to some racks and we're going to see if we can clap up some thrift cheeks <gasps> So let's get in them thrift guts. You never find another man gonna treat you right. You think you're lonely, lonely, lonely. All right, guys, it is bright, it is early. I'm over here looking like a clown with the somewhat middle part. Just jumped out the shower. And now we're gonna spend a couple of hours in the Goodwill bins, steals, deals. We're gonna see what's going on. I hope they rotated the store out this morning, but I have a feeling that may not be the case. But without further ado, let's get in. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! What's up, bro? What up? Round one, fight. Oh my god, all embroidered? You joking me? Oh, hold up. The Bayou Bengals too? Damn, I got that grandma swag. swag. That shit foreign. That Forelli? That's all I'm whipping, for Forelli. Chicago Bully. <laughs> Look at that, vaping the bins already. Tripping. Oh, there we go. For the youth, made in USA, size small. Nice little lemon. Hey, and then you got the pants to match it somewhat. Not at all, actually. LSU Tigers, but yeah, we'll, we'll Nike up one time. All right, guys, so that's rotation one and then the entry into the store in the books. Obviously, the one cool thing that was in here was this lemon balm Nike made in America size schmom little stain. Dude, this fell off my shoulder blade and this lady scooped it off the floor and luckily she did give it back. I was just like, bro, I felt like I left my phone, wallet and keys at the house. Oh, my God. Did I just drop that? Where did that Nike piece go? So you got the foreign Forelli? Oh my lord. This thing is just encrusted in heavy creamer crumpet stains. Definitely something out of your granny's collection. My favorite foreign car, Forelli. And then you got the New Orleans. I'll probably grab this just because it is on that weird tag. And then y'all know, I grab kind of stupid shit in the beginning of the day just to make myself feel better. But this is Russell, made in America, LSU Tigres my guys 1986 and they got the chicago rapper starter pack i'm fly like a pigeon in my true religions buddha man buddha man um not gonna get these what the heck bro the homie up class steals he brought his whole family his <laughs> daughter just plucked this banger she kind of knew off the stitching but guys 
Live in the thrift. This is why you have kids and bring them to the bins. <laughs> I can't wait till my son can walk. <laughs> this one's gonna be, or even crawl, he's gonna be crawling in the bins. Okay, so here's my Constellation prize, dude. Here's my Star Trek tea. No, I kept perusing and browsing. They got the Trek or Treat 1995. It's single stitch. All right, this is definitely okay. But then more intergalactic awesomeness. They have the key map or the key to the map of the moon tea. Guys, look at that big old cheese slice. That's like provolone and Swiss had a baby. Hold up, size medium. And then you have the Phantom of the Opera, Thrash to Perfection, 1986. But then peep, you have the Highlander, Don't Lose Your Head, single on the Stiach, and then on the back, my guys, you have all the sword types, the Katana, the Greek, the Falchion. Oh yes, man. You can carve up a turkey with these bad boys, I surmise. Um, yes, they bladed, man. And then last but not least, the Doctor Who 1982. Now this thing is patina, disgusting. It really is gonna take a huge bath in the bleach to bring this back to pristine condition. But yeah, those were in all old bins, all on old frames. Y'all know what's good. All right, guys, so I took a brief intermission inside. My big uncle Plato told me that, uh, he found some UT gear and I was like, how much you want for these things? And he just straight gift wrapped, signed, sealed and delivered these bad boys. 1996 Tejas Champions, that burnt orange, lightly toasted Longhorn color scheme. My dudes, University of Texas Longhorns, I got to give these a nice bath, try and get some of these stains out. But honestly, these little UT shorts, they kind of look like they have a cow pateration on them just with the nice stain sparkles speckles and drip dripping, dripping. someone replaced these with shoelaces that's kind of hard i appreciate that effort nutmeg mills favorite spice favorite vintage thrift brand bitch. hey thank you big uncle you're welcome i appreciate you guys i'm telling y'all i'm just coming through on the redig yeah dig competitive hot ultra looking like some neon boxes of nerds spilled all atop of this pool water 1982 i gotta grab this guy ultra hot that's hot see this is kind of the problem with the bins is i see stuff like this and i want to get it and this is how you become an episode of hoarders because i'm like man i can make a cool fish tank with this i'm kind of tempted and it makes my hand look bigger so make the fish look crazy. Dude, despite the fact that homie is noodle armed, this is another piece you can show off the triceps in style with. The Mazatlan, Mexico. Oh my God, beautiful. This shit looks like mango flesh. Guys, big bird gang. Huh. Hey, the beak and the talon, same color as the original Nike first find of the day, bro. This is crispy. Final round, fight. Hell yeah, that's hard. That's a goal right there. I think I see Messi. Damn, why somebody cut this off? Oh, dude, this is hard. Little Jaguar Warrior, around. Hey, that fish fetish? Small. Hey, this is hard, that little Western sway. All right, guys, last rotation. Jaguar Warrior, man, super hard, all over. Got the little Western piece, kind of a turquoise-esque color. Actually, it's more like Smurf pigmented on their skin tone. And then I think I see Messi. I think I see Messi. Yes, Qatar Foundation. Pretty distressed on the back, but I will still take it in the bins. All right, y'all, we're up out of there, man. Feels great to finally be able to wash my hands and get my hair the hell out my face. I don't know how ridiculous I looked, but hey, it is what it is. You're not here for my face, you're here for my fines. And that's why I fucks with y'all. But anyways, dude, we smacked, $56 were blown, and now it is time to hit the racks to see what else the day beholds, because I'm telling y'all, some thrift blessings are in store. Okay, jumping in the gym. Got a few things, man. 1985, Hillsboro High. That's exactly how high I'm trying to get, man. Not as high as mountain, as high as a hill. Gotta be in a little bit of control of thyself. Planet Hollywood, super cool colorway. And then let me see that long sleeve. The Harley Davidson with the anorexic Old English. Yes, how much is it? All tree, y'all, that's not too bad. 
They got the goat. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. <laughs> the third. No! Oh! All right, dude, here's a little goal. That authentic Nike. Look at the check difference, bruh. Check the check. Um, it is confirmed. Authentic. Phillips battery pack, US Men's Soccer. Six Our bucks soccer. right in time. Bro, is that spacesuit material? Absolutely. Hey, it's fly as hell regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Big Kappa. Seven? Seven? Two thinking gender fluid individuals. Damn. Hey, stars on one side. Stripes on the other, only four dollars. Shout out Big Kim Baker. Hey, what do you think Kim is baking? All right, guys, bro. I just slide tackle my way into some amazing finds. There's a cock on chest. I'm all about it. What, bro? You have the Tottenham Hotspur banger. They're charging ten dollars for this. Trippy. Then you also have the Manchester City. Um, that Aeroswift Swift is looking a little bit fugazi, a little. Look at this, I really am not in here to complain, but they just give me every opportunity. New school, the core challenge, $10. Wait a minute. They wrong. Corvette, Corvette, Corvette yeah. Corvette. I like the little checkered design. You can play chess on chest, you yeah, dig? <laughs> and it's all embroidered, man. Sewing machine, going crazy. Hey, you got, man. You got that paddle, bro? <laughs> Show me them cheeks. All right, guys, we're about to skeet daddle on out of here, but of course, one last $7 banger. I love the ribboning. St. Louis Cardinals, big pro player. Oh, it's prophetic. My size? Yes. Hey, what you think of that spot, bro? Uh, it was uh, pretty solid. You checking out my sex? Bro, always. All right, yeah, dude. That store did come true. Two big old bags and $95 were blown. It definitely is a whole new world up in there compared to the bins. But luckily the racks somewhat hit in Houston. Well, not somewhat, they, they do hit in Houston. I feel bad for y'all in other cities because y'all's racks are, are shitty. What's that, facts? And all right guys, so we have arrived. The next spot, the family thrift outlet. Let's get in here and find some bangers. Boom, we're in this thing and I have a question to ask you, Kinky. Mm. Answer me this. What would a planet that actually is only consistent of wood, from the holly tree. What would that be like? What would life on a planet of purely Hollywood tree texture be like? I need to know. <laughs> Hard. Crew neck king is back. Crew neck king is in here, dude. Yes, sir. Got the big 10 champs. Rose encrusted. Nittany Lions. Nala. And then the Auckland Raiders. That's right. Dang, another one? Another one. Look at the drip down the sleeves. Drippin', Bro, drippin'. I love this, man. It got the alphabet surrounded by stars. Salem sportswear. I swear, this is some Salem witchcraft, bro. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, man, a million and one crests down the sleeve. Center Reboculus. That's crazy. ThriftHeavenVintage.com. Oh my lord, guys. Look at this, oh, cozy season. You got the fishes that get you hella bitches, multicolored embroidery trade wins. That's like having a fart off with the homie. Absolutely crispy, man. Hanes, heavyweight. What happened? Bro, they, that, that guns and Moses see? Yes, sir. What do you think the commandment is, bro? Hey, thou shalt never be caught lacking. Amen. <laughs> Bro, this piece is hella fire. The crossed Uzis. My God. Guys, I done got one, baby. Oh, in a galaxy far, far away, you have the Star Wars and the intergalactic spider babies. What the hell is this? That looks like a straight egg sack. Pause. Hold on, man. You got the Star Wars T double extra large. That boy Darth Maul, you won't have to worry about getting into a, a verbal altercation. Because this fool I don't think is capable of speaking. But he's capable of creeping. Just look at them eyes. Alright, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like I just consensually entered the closet of a gearhead. What? And I'm not mad at it. You got the Boot Hill Saloon Pike Week. The Cruisers Bar and Grill. Harley Davidson Bahamas. You got Chester's Jackson Hole. What? And then you have the Bumpus Harley Davidson. Yo, a Bumpus? Sounds like a venereal disease. Let's be real. Shout out the screechy carts. Then I also got the King of the Hill 
single stiash i don't think this is the show i just think it's the general term t-shirt this looks brand spanking new shining sparkling glistening gorgeous dude shout out harley davidson man always putting on for radioactive wildlife this guy definitely is a hazard to the birding community hey you got that factory to it though Holy. Oh Lord! Then you got this eagle looking lethal. Oh God, it's on fire, 2002. Someone really threw this on the open flame. Holy crap, man, the barbecue pit going crazy. The Knoxville Nationals? Good Lordy, the graphic is swagtastic. I love this flavor. Then you also have another little piece of racewear, that Bristol, hello. Full Charlotte, full contact, what? And then the little Bike Week T, 2000 and tree? Oh, tree. Hey, I might have to get all four of these hoes. Dang, they also got that Wuhan Lab exclusive, the Rat Dog. What a hybridization. 1996, not fade away graphics. Nice. Yes. Dude, this is 90s AF. And it's low key cheetah print esque as well. Look at this, the cousin of Oscar Mayer. You have Obermeyer ski wear. This thing has a nice little drizzle of bird. Uh, Lactation, guys, this is crazy, man. Just look at this patteration, the zipper pockets, the blue. This is like alternative modern teched out cheetah print. Sweet. What is that? Is that a bacteria? I'm telling y'all, this has everything going on and then some. I know they do not. I know they do not just chilling. This is even a smaller rendition. Just check the centimeter count. That's at least three and a half. Bro, made in Mexico of US components, Nike center swoosh. And just imagine the swoosh in the center of a football helmet. That does look pretty darn sick. It looks ill. It looks in bad health. It's crispy. Wow, I love how uniform the rain is coming down. It looks like a Surratt painting, brother. It's snow. Look at the, the polka dots. All snow is is frozen rain, my man. Think about it, bro. Hey, but you see what I found? Mm -hmm. You seen it? Yes. Yeah, see. It's all about the yo. Bro, then you come flexing on me. Damn. That goalie smoking that pipe. And you know the weed sticky. I wish you were a goalie. Why? So you could smoke my pipe. What? That's how I clutch balls. Two hands. Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you trying to throw it back, just let me know, bro. I'm trying to, bro. Do it. Bro, I'm out, man. Dude, how they gonna do me like this, bro? Holiday season is in full swing. You got the Nutcracker brand. Hold on, that makes me a little bit nervous and clinch up just a tiny bit. But yeah, you have all the deers, you have the 12 days broken down, but it it lends to think that it'll go onto the back and it doesn't. Look at that. So it's like a blizzard, no goggles. And also in the same colorway, man. Silver tag, Nike, double XL, essential. Absolutely stunning. As patriotic as the American flag, as patriotic as the Union Jack, you have the Puma pouncing into my hand size large you wear it you find it i got the skunks on feet but if i have the red or the navy i'll be looking wavy grab your surfboard and get ready okay so the car is loaded up and behind me i have found that golf bag for like six bucks at the bins hence why the cover photo of this video probably is looking crazy but i fit all my finals which are like 40 something in that bag that bag is so clutch and it has wheels reuse recycle get phallic cover photos y'all know how we rocking if y'all want any gear thriftiveadvantage.com and then also follow me on whatnot my username on whatnot is thrift guy use my link down below to get ten dollars off your first purchase on the app and obviously you guys can stay up to date on what i'm dropping where by following my thrift heaven vintage instagram everything you need to know is in the description down below but we gotta hit one more stow while the day is still young. All right, guys, we're in the next spot, and I'm telling you, we dove in. Something like Shamu, something like a whale is grayscale. Oh my God, I wish I could make whale noises on demand. Unfortunately, I cannot. Yeah, this piece is gorgeous though. And then also, kind of in the Mighty Ducks colorway, you got that pony with a nice little uh, booger fragment. Nice. Yeah, clutch. Bro, show the people the colors, the vibrancy. Oh my God. Key to the hills. I got the key to the trees. Rod Run 1997. Wow. Hey man, this is definitely a quality I look for in a woman. Bro. That neck. There ain't no way. What happened? There ain't no way, bro. 
Hey, I found the perfect piece Point for no you. Wait. The powerhouse. Point no wait. Oh, shit, man. It's number one. Point Seven. Wait. Hold up. Please be more. Are these Bro, more yeah. K2 jerseys? Oh, that one's not this one. Bro, Seven. let's go. Bruh. The women's section is producing. It's oozing, if you will. You got the cougar kitten. Oh my goodness, from adolescence to adulthood. We saw something like a dolphin. B -b 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 big head on the beat. God, then look at this little joyous piece. Oh my lord. I don't know what greeny APG is, but I'm not mad at this divine design. Hold on, ladies. This is crispy. Same brand, different banger? This is even harder, bruh. All right, this is a heater, man, and it's lacking in specificity, which I also kind of love the vagueness. I shop at fine stores everywhere. The bunny encrustation? Ah, oh my God. Are you kidding, man? Gorgeous, gorgeous garment. The more musty, the more crusty, the better. Wow. Bro, you're plucking poo like you took your pooches to the dog park. This shit is nuts, man. Hey, bro. Honey dip. They got them Drake shoes. Drake? A stroke of my cactus. It's me. It. Literally. <laughs> Hold on. Hardest Christmas sweater, bruh. Is this what a lizard looks like through the eyes of a snake? Because I know they detect like heat and shit with their tonsils. Um, I'm definitely a biologist. The Marlboro Unlimited Vintage Lizard Tea. So tough. Not only did he buy Twitter, but he also went pro, or at least is in the like junior hockey league. Big Elon Musk. Hey, but what does make sense is the most crippinous state in the U in the United States. You got that Alaska? That boy just howling. Kaboom! At the moon. Crazy. This is one of the most different Grateful Dead tees I think I've ever peeped. The cow has a face tag and neck wings. Okay guys, we gotta wrap it up with the dolphins on dolphins on dolphins. And y'all know dolphins be doing all types of adult activities, sometimes maliciously, and it looks like they're having a giant um, get together. We'll put it that way. And damn, the lemurs too? Straight Madagascarin. Three wolves, one moon? All right, man, this is how we sign out with a bunch of wild thrift finds. Whew, and all riggedy all right, we are back. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's trip to the thrift episode. It was crazy. We found a bunch of cool gear. And once again, if you guys live in Dallas, pull up on me this weekend in Dallas, Texas, December 3rd at the Irving Convention Center. I'm gonna be popped up. The homie Jacob Starr is gonna be with me. It's just gonna be a great time. So Dallas, Texas, come show some love. If you have some time, I would definitely enjoy seeing your face. And also, man, I do sell gear on Whatnot, so follow me on that. My username is ThriftGod. The link to my Whatnot and to join and get $15 off your first purchase is in the video description down below. But a lot of these clothes I have, believe it or not, already flipped on Whatnot and my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. So just follow both, stay tuned, because I always am slinging gear in person on live auctions and of course on my website. But until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream, Get in the trenches and find some vintage viciousness, okay? Peace! I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm gone. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get.